In this Oxbridge admission style question, we're asked what is the volume of the largest cube that fits entirely within a sphere of unity volume? If we visualise our cube within the sphere, it's quite easy to work out by the symmetry of both the cube and the sphere that all eight vertices of the cube must be touching the edge of the sphere. So if we take the longest distance of the cube, so diametrically opposite vertices, which we can call A and B, drawn a line there, as well as going through the centre of the cube, this line must also go through the centre of the sphere, hence it's a diameter of length 2R, where R is the radius of the sphere. So we're going to start by working out what this R is. We're told that the volume of the sphere, that's a unity sphere, hence it's got a volume of 1, and our formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi R cubed, where R is the radius. So rearranging this 1 equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, we get that r cubed must equal 3 over 4 pi, hence r is equal to 3 over 4 pi, all to the power of a third, so the cube root. Now that we've found r, we can use this to work out the volume of the cube. To work out the volume of a cube, we're going to need one of the side lengths, which we'll call x. And to find this, I'm going to put in a diagonal of the base, which we're going to call d. Now this makes a right angle triangle with x and 2r, so by Pythagoras' theorem, the square of 2r is going to equal d squared plus x squared. But the base is also a square with right angles and edges of x, so d squared is going to equal x squared plus x squared. Substituting this in, we get that 4r squared on the left is equal to x squared plus x squared plus x squared, so 3x squared. Dividing this through gives us that x squared is equal to 4r squared over 3, and x is equal to 2r over root 3. But we've already worked out what r is, so let's substitute that in. So we get that x is equal to 2 over root 3 times by 3 over 4 pi, or to the power of a third. The volume of a cube is x cubed, so substituting this in, we get the cube of 2 over the root 3 times by 3 over 4 pi to the power of a third. Expanding this means we're going to cube both of those fractions because they're multiplying together. So that gives us 8 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2 for the first part. The cube and the cube root cancel out to give 3 over 4 pi for the second part. Bringing these two together, we'll have the 8 divided by the 4 on top. Divide top and bottom by the 3, which gives us 2 over pi root 3. Or if you prefer to rationalise the denominator, we get the volume of the cube as 2 root 3 all over 3 pi which as a decimal is approximately 0.368. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.